Thank you, Chairman, and thank you for your team and your uh, steadfast collaboration on this. I want to thank Kathy McMorris Rogers, Frank Blum of ENC. I want to thank all my colleagues here, as well as the White House and the Biden administration, for their tremendous input with regard to this bill. Folks, this bill is not a ban, and it's really not about TikTok. This bill is a choice, and it's a choice for bite dance as well as any other social media app controlled by a foreign adversary. ByteDance has repeatedly used the TikTok platform in ways that undermine not just American national security, but the interests of its users. Now, let me just uh, walk you through three recent examples of how ByteDance uh, has made false statements with regard to its connections to the Chinese Communist Party and its access to American user data. First of all, let me sh show you this little picture here. Dusty, could you help us out? Thanks. I knew you'd have good a chart, that, right? I know, right? You always have a chart. Okay. This is a picture uh, of the editor-in-chief of ByteDance. His name is Zhang Fu Ping. He happens to be the general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party cell embedded in ByteDance. And he's standing next to this guy, who is the uh, head of the People's Armed Police Political Work Department of the Chinese Communist Party. This man is the editor-in-chief of ByteDance, and he is a CCP member. So whenever ByteDance says it's not controlled by the CCP, that's false. Secondly, ByteDance says that TikTok user data of Americans is solely in the United States or in Singapore. That's false. Some of this user data is on PRC servers. On top of that, recently um, it was revealed that ByteDance's China-based employees routinely, they routinely access American <clears throat> user data regardless of what TikTok wants. Third, ByteDance has claimed that they never target any members of the U.S. government, activists, public figures, or journalists. False again. Following reports that ByteDance accessed American data, ByteDance employees accessed the TikTok data of those very journalists to target them. Can you believe that? Let me just repeat that. ByteDance used the location data of TikTok, uh, TikTok accounts owned by American journalists to target those very journalists who broke this story. So this bill, again, is not a ban, and it's not really about TikTok. It's a choice. We implore, we implore ByteDance to sell TikTok so that its American users can enjoy their uh, dance videos, their bad lip sync, uh, everything else that goes along with TikTok. We ask American users of TikTok to tell ByteDance to sell the platform. And this bill provides that way. Finally, I'll say this also envisions that there are other social media apps that we can't even think about today that might be controlled by a foreign adversary, whether it's in the metaverse or in the current universe, that uh, one day some administration, it could be Republican, Democrat, who knows what it uh, anticipates or faces that could use this very authority in a way to protect Americans. Thank you.